Hello everyone, welcome back to Catalan English Sports, where we make sports your English classroom. In today's video, we'll dive into the exciting world of marathon running, focusing on the rivalry between Eluid Kipchoge and Kanani Sabek at the Paris 2024 Olympics. We'll explain keywords and statements in detail to help you improve your English as reported by World Athletics. We'll start from the statement on our screen. Eliud Kipchoge's form in doubt as he seeks third Olympic marathon win. We'll start from the word form. Form refers to an athlete's current performance level. In this case, this statement is talking about Eliud Kipchoge the Kenyan legend. Now let's go to in doubt. It suggests this uncertainty about his ability to perform well. So whose ability? Again, Eluid Kipchoge's ability. Third Olympic marathon win. So from this phrase, we can understand that Kipchoge is aiming to win his third gold medal in the marathon at the Olympics. Therefore, from this entire statement, we can understand that Eliud Kipchoge, he is aiming for his third consecutive Olympic gold medal in the marathon, but there are concerns about his current performance level. Why are we saying there are concerns? Because here it says his form is in doubt as he seeks third Olympic marathon win. Now it's time for us to talk about another long distance uh, running legend. And that is Ethiopia's Kananisabekele at 41. This is telling us that Kananisabekele is 41 years old. Ethiopia's Kananisabekele. So this phrase is telling us that Kananisabekele belongs to which country? Ethiopia. So that means he is Ethiopian. Maintains rivalry rivalry can be defined as competition so to maintain rivalry means to continue to compete against therefore at the paris olympics he is going to compete in the marathon against eluid kipchoge who is reigning olympic champion so the reigning olympic champion refers to the current uh, olympic gold medalist therefore at 41 years old Ethiopian runner Kananisabek Ele continues his competition with the current Olympic champion Eluid Kipchoge. That is what we understand from this entire statement. At 41, Ethiopia's Kananisabek Ele continues to compete or he maintains his rivalry. Now let's go to our third statement. Eliud Kipchoge will be in Paris at the age of 37, seeking to earn a third consecutive Olympic title, but his performance in Tokyo Marathon on 3 March was far from the ideal preparation. We'll start from the phrase seeking to earn. If you are seeking to earn something, that means, for instance, in this particular case, you that means you are trying to win the race. Third consecutive Olympic title. It means he wants to win three Olympic gold medals in a row because here at the scene they used the word consecutive. Now let's go to far from ideal preparation. It means not the best way to get ready. Therefore, at the age of 37, Eliud Kipchoge, there he is, he aims for his third consecutive Olympic gold medal. However, his poor performance in Tokyo Mar or in the Tokyo Marathon in March, it raises concern. So from this statement, we were able to understand that he did not have the best time at the Tokyo Olympic. After finishing 10th, the worst result of a peerless marathon career that began in 2013, he commented, I did not sleep for three days and I've been so bad. No, and I've never been so bad. My apologies. Sometimes I read things that are not on the screen. <laughs> okay, let's start from finishing tens. That means placing tens in the race. Peerless means without equal. 
commented means he said so what did he say i did not sleep for three days and i've never been so bad so from this entire statement we can understand that keep joking there he is he finished 10th in the tokyo marathon and that was his worst result of his unmatched and that was his worst result of his unmatched career that started in 2013 and he also mentioned that he hadn't slept for three days and he felt terrible about it so again we can understand that Elliot Kipchoge had high, ex high expectations but those expectations were not made at the Tokyo Olympic Kipchoge will, however, resume a long-standing rivalry with another legend of the sport, Ethiopia's 41-year-old Kanani Sabekele. Now let's start from the word resume. That means continue. So what is going to continue? The long-standing rivalry. In this case, the phrase long-standing rivalry refers to a competition that lasted a long time legend it means or it refers to a famous and admired person and anisa is so admired and he is famous he's known around the globe so this statement is trying to tell us that keep joking there he is by the way there he is competing against anisa Bekele in the past and he will do it again this year at the paris olympics so Kipchoge will continue his long-running competition with 41-year-old Ethiopian legend Kananisa Bekele. And I wish Kananisa Bekele all the best. I hope the next video I'm making about the marathon is going to be about Kananisa Bekele or any of the athletes, the Ethiopian athletes, winning the gold medal. The latter. Okay, so now I want to take you back to the previous statement. So from this statement, first uh, they mentioned Kipchoge and then later they talked about Kananisabek. So when they said the latter, they are referring to the person that was not mentioned first. So we can clearly understand that they are talking about or they're referring to Kananisabek. Now let's go to the actual statement we want to focus on. So the latter again it refers to Kananisabekele there he is who won three olympic and five world golds so the phrase olympic and five world goals it refers to the gold medals in the olympics and world championships turning to means switching to so uh, the latter who won three olympic and five world gold medals over 5,000 meter and 10,000 meter before turning to the marathon before starting to compete or before starting to race in the marathon he last competed at the games or he last competed at the olympics in 2012 when he was fourth in the 10,000 meter in london so in london olympic Kananisa uh, Bekele did not win any medals. He did not win the gold. He did not win the silver. Neither did he win the bronze medal. Instead, he finished fourth at the London Olympics in 2012. But before that, Kananisa Bekele, I was going to say, Abebe Bikila, Kananisa Bekele had won multiple gold medals in track events before switching to the marathons last uh, he last competed in the olympics in 2012 finishing fourth in the 10,000 meter in london i remember kanani sabek and finishing fourth at the london olympic and i was so disappointed in him at the same time i felt so i felt so bad for him because uh, i can't even imagine how it must feel for him to finish the race Force because it is Kananisabekele. So after failing to make the Olympic team in 2016 and 2021, he earned his place in Paris with an astonishing performance at the London Marathon in April, where he finished second in 2.04.15, 14 seconds behind Kenya's Alexander Mutiso Munyao, who is 
the third selected member of the Kenyan team. So from this, this statement, we can understand that number one, the champion who won the London Marathon in April this year, and that person or that runner is Alexander Mutiso Munio. There he is hugging Kanani Sabek uh, he will also compete in the marathon representing his country, Kenya. And when we go to the phrase failing to make, that means not qualifying for. So in this case, uh, the phrase is referring to an astonishing performance means an impressive or remarkable achievement. So from this entire statement, we can understand that missed the Olympics in 2016 and 2021 but he qualified for paris with an impressive second place finish at the london marathon just 14 seconds behind the winner and the winner was alexander mutiso Muniel. Like I told you earlier, this video focuses on the rivalry between Kananisabek Ala there he is, and Eloid Kipchoge. So why did we do that? Or why did the article focus on, or why did the article choose to focus on these two athletes? Because <laughs> coincidentally, which means by chance, Bekele and Kipchoge's rivalry or their competition, it started in Paris, where the latter the latter in this case is Kipchoge, where the latter won five, the 5,000 meter title from Morocco's Hicham Al Al -Geru 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 Okay, I think the the statement is referring to this athlete who would win 1,500 meter and 5,000 meter gold at the following year's Olympics in Athens with Kipchoge taking bronze uh, so from this statement we can understand that Ananisa Bekele and Elud Kipchoge's rivalry uh, it began in Paris where Kipchoge won the 5000 meter defeating the Moroccan athlete who would later win double gold at the Athens Olympics where Kipchoge won bronze so again from this statement we can understand that uh, in the later years the moroccan athlete won gold i, I think he won two gold medals here yeah. and then at the same time kipchoge finished third he did not even finish second now i'm sure you all want to know when was the last time these two athletes competed against each other Elit Kipchoge and Anisabek. The last time the two men raced together was at the London Marathon in 2018 when Kipchoge won. So to win a race means to come first. So the last time they met, we can understand that from this statement, Kenya's Eluid Kipchoge won the race. So Anisabek and Eluid Kipchoge last competed together in the 2018 London Marathon where Kipchoge emerged victorious. Now we already know who is going to join Eliud Kipchoge at the marathon from Kenya. What about Bekele's teammates or Kanarisa Bekele's teammates? Bekele's teammates will also be formidable. Formidable means very powerful or impressive. Uh, so Kanarisa uh, Bekele's Ethiopian teammates are also st strong competitors. Well, these are not going to be his teammates or these athletes are not going to join him in this year's Paris Olympics because uh, I grew up watching these three representing Ethiopia and winning all kinds of medals at the Olympics. But it's not going to happen this year. Instead, we've got another, we've got new athletes and those new athletes are formidable. So we will start from one of our amazing athletes. There he is, Derisa Galeta. He won this year's Seville Marathon in a course record time of 2.03.27.
Therefore, the first athlete that is going to join Kananisa Bekela at the marathon and represent our country, Ethiopia, is Derisa Galeta. Derisa Galeta won this year's Seville Marathon in a course record time of 2.03.27 setting his personal best and becoming the 20th fastest marathon runner in history so we'll take a look at the phrase course record it refers to the fastest time ever recorded for that marathon course so from this statement we can understand that Teresa galeta he said a course record of a uh, he set a course record and a personal best at the civil marathon, making him the 20th fastest marathon runner ever. Now it's time for us to take a look at the other Ethiopian athlete that is going to represent our country and drink an Anisabek Ala at the Paris Olympics marathon. Well, the next athlete is Nazi Sailama Tamratola because following Sisailama's withdrawal due to injury, Tamratola, did I say Tamrat Mulla? My sincere apologies, Tamratola completes Ethiopia's team. The 2022 world champion Tola finished third at the last year's London Marathon and won the New York Marathon in a course record of 204.58. Let's start from the phrase withdrawal due to injury. It means dropping out because of injury completes Ethiopia's team. That means it fills the final spot. Not it fills because we're talking about him. Tamra Tola, he fills the final spot in the uh, on the team, not in the team, on the team, on the Ethiopian team. So from this entire statement, we can understand that Tamra Tola, he finished third in the London Marathon. Not only that, he was able to set a course record at the New York City Marathon. So when was the last time Ethiopia won gold at the Olympic marathon? Well, it's been a long time. The last time Ethi Ethiopian, not the last time, the last Ethiopian to win the men's Olympic marathon title was Gazahin Abera at the 2004 Athens Games. So from this entire statement, by the way, here is Gazahin Abera. I remember him winning the gold medal or winning the marathon like i said it's been a long time it's been 10 years 2004 so from this statement you can understand that kazanya berra was the last ethiopian man to win the olympic marathon and it happened in 2004 we really really need to win this well I wish all our athletes the best and I want to thank all of you for joining me today. I hope this breakdown helped you understand the key terms and statements better. Stay tuned for more exciting sports and English learning content on Canal English Sports.